Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna get an exclusive first look at Regal Robots' latest addition to their archive collection. And this thing is massive. So today we're gonna look at the Regal Robot Gamorrean Guard Axe Replica Signature Edition. Um, and guys, I mean, right off the bat, insane so today we're gonna unbox it take a look at it up close and actually hang it up on the wall and see how it's gonna look displayed so let's go take a look at it all right so here it is the regal robot gamorian axe replica and right off the bat the box was super heavy i put it down and i realized i was unboxing it upside down um the axe weighs probably about seven eight pounds uh so it's really massive and it's hard to really show you guys how big it is um just on film right and not until you kind of hold it in your hands you, you realize how massive it is and of course this is a limited edition it's limited to 100 pieces uh it's going to come with a wall display mount you know a signature plaque and of course there's a certificate of authenticity uh, because regal robot went into the lucasfilm archives and digitally scanned the original screen use prop um also just a heads up i accidentally screwed those things upside down make sure the plaque is on the top but man look how cool it looks on display and regal robot just does such a great job at making something that's you know made out of resin look real i mean it, they do such a great job with with the wood grain and just you know the the paint job on this is is fantastic i love the fact that they left all that wooden detail on there um because it just gives it this like other sense of of uh, i don't know authenticity right because it really does feel like a real axe which is surprising because uh tom spina uh, you know the owner of regal robot in one of the live streams through the um, you know the regal robot facebook group uh, he mentioned that the one in the in the archives is actually uh, a vacuum formed um abs plastic so it's super light so the one that you see there on the you know with the gamorian guards is super light um and although this axe you know you don't see it that often in the in the film uh you could see it there briefly and then you see it again when the gamorian guard is coming down the steps um you know once they get to to Jabba so you see it again there you also see it in a lot of promo shots and some of the costume shots uh but it just the coolest part about this thing is that this is the axe that inspired the original Kenner figures axe so a lot of us that grew up you know with those Kenner figures there's just something about that axe that just that is our Gamorrean axe right even though the the traditional looking one is the one that you kind of see a lot more in Return of the Jedi to old school fans this is the Gamorrean axe so I really love the fact that Regal Robot ended up picking this one versus the you know the traditional looking one just because of that you know that double you know kicker right not only is it a, a screen use prop replica um that they scan but it's also the inspiration for our you know our kenner figures that we had as a kid so it's really cool again the original one weighs like nothing this one because it's solid resin it's about six and a half almost seven pounds so obviously it that's probably about how much a, a real axe would probably weigh i mean i guess maybe if it was solid metal it would weigh a little bit more but i love the fact that the weight is distributed so evenly that you could actually display it in either direction right P facing the left or facing the right just so it, it accommodates your collection and, and the space that you have now this is going to be a signature edition and only a hundred of these are going to be made and it's going to come with steven costantino's autograph that uh and steven played one of the gamorian guards in return of the jedi and you know it, it really just elevates the piece having it be a, uh, a signature edition and again i love the fact that they made the display you know uh, to mount on the wall and the display is really nice um the grooves there to hold it up are, are really 
nice and tight so you could actually display it upwards if you really wanted to um, I might not recommend that just I guess it depends on, on the space that you have but what I noticed is that when you flip it up like that you could kind of still see the signature plaque through the the hole of the axe so again depending on your space depending on you know if, if you have room for it you might be able to display it upwards like that however I think just I would for safety purposes, because of the weight of it, I would definitely, uh, you know, face the ax downward. And again, it's just mind blowing to look at this um, and realize that it's resin, right? Just because Regal Robot does such an amazing job, you know, the artists in their New York studios just knock it out of the park every time to make things that are resin look real. Um, you know, the wood grain looks awesome. The weathering looks great. It really does look like wood and metal. And and again, Regal Robot has done this in the past, obviously with the gaffy sticks, right? The gaffy sticks, um, the, the main part of it were resin, but honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell that they were resin. They, they look like wood. As you can see here, I brought brought down my uh, A New Hope version so you can see. Um, there's also the Mandalorian version too that was that's on display nearby, um, but I figured the A New Hope one would be more appropriate for this video. But like I said, I love the fact that it displays on the wall like this. Again, for collectors like myself that are running out of space, this just is a lifesaver because you're able to, um, you know, mount it somewhere on the wall to not take up that much space. And it just looks so great with the rest of the maquettes or even if you have like a Kenner collection, it would look great. So just as a reminder, this axe is available for pre-order this Tuesday, October 15th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on RegalRobot.com. It is going to retail for $15.99, but there is a 12-month payment plan. So if you really break it down, it's about about a hundred dollars a month you know give or take so it's not horrible when you split it um but anyways guys let me know what you think about it in the comments i hope you enjoyed this review and don't forget to subscribe like and look out for the next video thanks guys